Hey YouTube, I'm Jared and I want to talk to you real quick about a lens test that I did this week. On Friday I got this Sony FE 85mm 1.8. Um, usually when I buy a new lens I like to do a quick test of it. There's a lot of good copies, bad copies, stuff you buy brand new can come totally decentered and have lots of problems. I actually bought this lens used. Uh, I got a smoking deal on it, but I do have the option to return it, so I wanted to do a quick test. Normally when I do these tests, I go into the backyard, I go up to a fence, I go up to a piece of lattice, something where I can get everything in the same focal plane, take a few pictures at different apertures and compare the sharpness of the corners. Um, I had mixed results doing this on Friday with this lens, partially because of the focal length and where I was able to get in my yard with, with what I was shooting. Um, so I came in and I googled lens test charts and I found this on b &H Photos website. I will post a link to it below, but I taped it to my wall. I put my camera on a tripod. I shot at f1.8, f4, f8, um, ISO 100, changing the shutter speed to adjust for the light in my room. And I threw the images into Lightroom to see what the corners looked like. And it was very obvious very quickly that at 1.8, the bottom right hand corner was soft. Um, so by the time I got to F8, it was pretty much fine. So I'm gonna use this lens for portrait work, which typically I'm gonna be shooting pretty wide. So the bottom corner is probably gonna be out of focus anyways. And if I ever did use it for a landscape shot, I'm gonna be up in the F8 to F16 range. So it's probably fine. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep this lens, if, if it was a G Master 85 millimeter that was you know, double the price, I'd probably be a little bit more concerned about it. But I got a sweet deal on this and for the price, I don't, I don't think it'll give me any problems. So yeah, when you get a new lens, download this form, tape it to your all, take some photos, and you can really quickly find out the performance of the lens. Um, it could have a slight effect on resale if you have a decentered lens and you decide you want to keep it. If it's not going to affect you, it might affect the next person. So just do your due diligence and yeah, make sure that the lens is what you need it to be for the price you paid. So thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.